The answer to this is fantastically complicated. Let me break it down. See, a coma by definition involves the brain since most of us need a brain to be conscious. There are also parts of the brain, particularly the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary gland that are involved in regulating a normal period. So whether the periods continue or not confusingly depends on how well these structures, which confusingly look like the brain's scrotum, are functioning. That doesn't just happen if there's direct trauma or infections of those brain regions, but also if cortisol levels spike or there are episodes of malnutrition, which can happen in people who aren't in comas as well. So with short, well-nourished comas with no specific brain injuries to the hypothalamus or pituitary, then periods will continue. Otherwise, they're likely to stop. Did you know that?